Hi guys, how are you today? So today I'm here to make chickpeas um, pancakes, high protein chickpea pancakes, because you know, high protein diet is the end thing right now. And a lot of people are going to high protein diet. So this is an awesome, awesome pancake recipe. And you are going to love it. Trust me. All right. So the first thing you need is to have your chickpea flour or is it basan or basin, whatever, however you pronounce it, B-A-S-A-N, basan, basin. I call it basin, basin. So all I'm getting now is one cup of chickpea flour. There it is. One cup of and I have here a bit of baking powder, a little bit of cinnamon, and some salt that I'm pouring in. All right, and we are just gonna mix this baby around. Chickpeas tend to be dry. It tends to be dry, a bit dry. For some reason, after you make your product, it has a little dry taste. So what I put in my chickpea product is yogurt. Yogurt gives it a lot of, lot of moisture. And I put in, for one cup, I put in qu about a quarter cup of yogurt, just a quarter cup of yogurt. And this will give it a lot of moisture. This will make sure that the moisture level stays up. And I am going to put in just a small tad of apple cider vinegar. Small tad of apple cider vinegar. I love this. You don't have to put in, but I personally love putting in flaxseed. I put flaxseed in almost everything I make. So I'll put in right, because this is a cup, I'll put in a teaspoon. You don't want to put too much. Okay. And then we'll just give that a quick little stir. And then... For this um, recipe, I am going to put some peanut butter in here. No, I won't put peanut butter. I'll do peanut butter in another in another um, dish. And so here, I've got some. This is my flavored water that I have here. It's just my flavored water. It's some strawberry flavored water. You don't have to use it. You can use plain. And I'm going to just add. And we'll add just a bit of sweetener. And this I'm adding some maple syrup. Not a lot. Small amount of maple syrup just to give it a little oomph. And there, you got your pancake. Ah, so easy. But this is so delicious. Chickpea pancake. There you are. For all those folks that are gluten-free, but they want high protein, here it is. You can't want anything better than this. So here we are, guys. We are going to make the pancakes now. So I've got my pan here heated, and we're going to start...
We'll make sure that it browns. And you can make a um, whatever variety you want of this. You could make a banana pancake. You can make blueberry pancakes. You can make chocolate chip pancakes, strawberry. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's your desire. I am just making it plain here for you to see. And then you add whatever embellishment you want in it too. It'll be just fine. It's really delicious. And you're going to be hooked on these chickpea pancakes. Trust me, you are. So you want to wait until you see little bubbles form on top. That tells you that it's ready to flip over on the other side. So our bubbles just started forming. So we'll just let a couple more come up and we'll flip it over. All right, and wow, yep, that looks good. So I'm going to have this with some, I'm going to top it with goat's butter. Have you heard of goat's butter? Well, I bought today this in the store. Goat's butter. You can't see it because it's backwards. Goat's butter. I've never had goat's butter before. Never seen it before. But it can't be can't be bad. It's milk from an animal. <laughs> it's milk from an animal, so it should be pretty good. And I heard great reviews about it, so I'm gonna give it a try. So here are pancakes all done and now we'll do another one. Golden brown, golden brown and pretty. You know, I could do five days of chickpea pancakes, different kinds, different flavors and variety. That would be great because I love pancakes. I could eat pancakes every day. Don't bother me one bit. I could eat it every single day. Okay, there we go. And the last one. There we go. Well, maybe we'll get another one. Yeah. We'll probably end up with another one. Oh no, we'll end up getting two more. <laughs> We end up getting two more. So this recipe you could definitely share with someone if you feel like it. <laughs> or you could eat it all yourself. All right, here we go. Yeah, beautiful.
And if you notice, we did not put egg in here. However, if you want egg, you can definitely put egg in here. We did put the sour cream, so that makes up for all, all of those moisture. And... Oh, these look so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these are amazing. And apparently, they're all the rave chickpea pancakes. I've been making chickpea pancakes for, for years. And now I hear they're the rave. So I guess that's what it is. I have a bit of gluten allergy, so I don't use a lot of um, regular flour, even though sometimes I do cheat and make stuff with it. But I pay the consequences. Trust me, I pay the consequences. And definitely this one. I like putting a small amount of coconut oil in the pot because it does give it a flavor. Then it melts off the spoon. It does give it a flavor that I like. Coconut oil, yeah. You know, you can do this. You put whatever it is that you personally like on it. Mine is coconut oil. Love coconut oil. I think I'm gonna do I think I think that's a good idea. Five days of chickpea pancake, different varieties. So I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and definitely the last one. Yeah. All right. So. These are so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You know, we gotta taste it for y'all to see. Definitely gotta taste it. Okay, and we are done. And so, here, these are the two that I chose. And I am just going to put a little bit of maple syrup here. Maple syrup. And I am going to taste it. Mm. Oh my goodness, no. Guys, please, you've got to try this. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. 
This is really, <laughs> this is really good. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 My goodness. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.